The death penalty debate, controversial, fiery, explosive, sure to ignite tense discussion on both sides, for and against. I think uh, you have to be very careful, um, making sure there's, there's no doubt whatsoever. I'm against death penalty, uh, just because it's irreversible. The horrific, cold-blooded murder of a Cheshire family has now fueled the debate. We have a lady who is in our bank right now who says that her husband and children are being held at their house. July 23, 2007, Jennifer Hawk Pettit caught on a bank surveillance camera in what turned out to be a desperate attempt to withdraw money to save her family. She is petrified. Um, I didn't, she wasn't going to call the police, but I came in my office and I did. Minutes later, the heart-wrenching aftermath. Pettit and her two daughters were found dead in their charred, ransacked home. Her husband, Dr. William Pettit, was beaten and bruised but managed to escape. The prime suspects in the case, Stephen Hayes and Joshua Komisarjewski. Three years later, the gruesome details of the case are now playing out in New Haven Superior Court. On trial, Stephen Hayes, he's facing the death penalty. Most people would agree that if you don't prosecute this case as a death penalty, what could you ever prosecute as a death penalty? If convicted, Hayes and Commissar Jeffsky will join 10 men already on Connecticut's death row. The last person to die in the death chamber, Michael Ross, a self-confessed serial killer dubbed the Roadside Strangler. He murdered and raped eight young women during a three-year period in the 80s. He was executed five years ago.